Hi, I'm Michael Killen. In this program, we are going to gain an opportunity to understand why a social artist thinks, why he makes art. And I've also fascinated at what really motivates artists to make art. And this gentleman, who is Mark Harris, thank you for coming on the show. And you are a social artist who is also involved in multimedia, photography, uh, collage. Yep. Uh, uh, Ramir Bearden. Yes. He's one great. Of my favorite. Yes. Ramir Bearden is one of the great collage. Tell me something. Uh, you know, in a way, this uh, this well, you read it. This tells it all, doesn't it? So, <clears throat> this is a piece called Immigration Theory. And um, I've chosen to, to use uh, the symbolism of, of the Statue of Liberty because it, it holds a lot of uh, power and meaning. Um, and really uh, sort of turn it on its head, juxtapose it with uh, another symbol that's classically American, and really talk about uh, the, the conflict we're having internally over immigration. Um, I chose the words e pluribus unum because I believe it was about 1787 uh, it became the unofficial motto of the United States, uh, and it actually means, out of many, we are one. Yes. Um, and this is a sign, uh, I believe, that was, I, I found it on the internet. It originated in El Paso, Texas, around 1906. And the sign originally said, no Negroes, no Mexicans, no dogs. Mm. And so I just chose to update it with, uh, with kind of, in essence, our history, um, kind of, you know, combining with our present. Good. So I credit you for symbolically bringing to our attention um, how this country was formed and some of the fundamental beliefs that <laughs> all patriots should have, yeah. I think, and how somehow another great number of people who are really all good people, but, you know, have a problem with uh, refugees, immigrants, minorities, and okay, what's this one about? So this is a piece called um, "Silence Equals Violence." Silence equals violence. In other words, if we don't speak up when exactly. we see injustices exactly. and violence, we are not. Well, it, it, we're 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 being complicit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's my belief that we're all witnesses to history. And um, I chose the Declaration of Independence as the, the, the really the backdrop uh, of this piece because, you know, this is our, the founding documents of our country and it basically states that all men are created equal. Um, yet, you know, we're, we're, we don't see that. Um, you know, this is, we're almost 250 plus years old. Um, and a lot of people just feel like these things don't apply to them, so it doesn't matter. Um, but if we're to be a strong republic, if we're, gonna, if we're gonna continue to be a strong republic, people have to get involved. They have to get involved. They have to speak yes. up. And not just about violence, but when we have a leader, a parent, exactly. or children who lie. Lying is such a terrible thing because uh, you and I, everyone out there, we will not trust somebody who lies. And that's just not good. And Black Lives Matter. So this is one of the first um, mixed media collages that I did um, back about almost three years ago. And, and the, the unrest in Ferguson, Missouri is what prompted this whole series. And it's called State of Denial. And um, this piece is called Right to Life. And I really wanted to create a piece to really hit the conservative movement, you know, the right to lifers. They're, they're, they're concerned about unborn babies, yet when people get here, you know, they don't give a crap about them, if I can oh, yeah. say that word. So I chose to, um, to juxtapose the, the American flag on, on black paper. Um, this piece was actually inspired by uh, one of Basquiat's mixed me media collages. Um, and images that I found on the internet, this is from a, a book called Jim Crow Must Go, the cover. And um, this was an actual uh, protester 
post-Ferguson. And when I saw this in the newspaper, you know, I just thought it was so bold for, for someone to wear a shirt like that and hold up a sign. Yeah. Uh, so That's I just put them, put them together. Yes. So I want to make a comment about all three for a moment. We've, we've, we've got the, the composition, the composition and the use of color and the interconnection of the imagery is all very, very nice. Easy to take in, easy to provoke my brain to think about the issues. And I can see a couple little things you have. The ability to grab people's eye right here and pull them in and this all seems to support it. And uh, anyway, you, you're good at composition, color, and message. Thank you, thank you. And what do we have here? So, so this piece is called In Guns We Trust. Uh, I wanted to take a bit more of a satirical take on um, the fetish um, that we have with violence and sex and patriotism. And uh, I found this ad uh, in an old Life magazine. It was for maiden form bras, I think, I'm not sure. Uh, but the woman's attitude um, just grabbed me, and I knew I had to use it in a piece. And I added the American flag uh, in, in Photoshop, created a mask. And then these images I've just found and, and sized them so that they would fit. Uh, and then I went back to the postage stamp motif again. Again, in, in God We Trust became the official motto of the United States in 1956, I believe. And so it's kind of a play on words. Um, yeah. So you've tapped into sex, sexualism, violence, weapons, or defense in some people, patriotism, and uh, so you, you mix them all together or put them all together, and I think that's very good. All right, I'd like to ask, what motivates you to make this kind of art? Um, you know, I, my work was very different before Ferguson. And one of my favorite quotes is a quote by Nina Simone. And she said basically that it's an artist's duty to reflect the times in which we live. And I feel that um, the artists are the antennas of society. And I really feel that the role of visual art, artists, you know, has really been stepped up a notch because um, we're so inundated with voicemails and emails um, that the power of a well-crafted still image can stop someone in their tracks and just like you said, you know, can really make you think um, and you have to sit with it. So um, I do this because I want to contribute to moving the ball forward in areas of social change that are important to me. Okay, so you made a point of the importance of an image, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's see, music is sort of important to us as it flows by us, but it doesn't quite stay. We can't see it, okay? We have to maybe listen to it against, you know, sometimes we can re remembrance of it, okay? But a photo, a yeah. painting, is something that lights up our brain, yep. makes us think, especially if it's a bit challenging, and it can stay with us. And, and uh, it's worth a lot of words. And, okay. Pictures worth a thousand words. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'd like to know, uh, a PBS wrote you up once, is that right? Uh, it was uh, KQED Arts. Oh, KQ. um, All right, they're important in uh, Northern California. And um, do you have any interesting uh, exhibits or projects coming up? So I, I have an exhibit opening um, at the JCC Jewish Community Center in San Francisco um, Sunday, May 7th, from 5 to 7. Um, I, I'm part of a group show. It's called Vanishing Point, and it's going to be up through September. So probably by the time this airs, I'll be at the reception. But uh, um, the, the exhibit will be up through well, September. Good. And uh, Mark, you have a website. Yes, it's artofmarkharris.com or Mark Harris Art on Instagram. So I want to say thank you for thank you. sharing <laughs> uh, your thoughts with us. Thank you. Okay. I'm Michael Killen, and you can watch this show if, especially if you're a TV station and you'd like to download it, Vimeo, Peg Media, Tellview, Connect. I'm Michael Killen.